There are certain tools that are available within Adobe Reader that make using Glenco PDFs that are part of the programs, whether it's health science or any other program, much more versatile than just using it as a straight PDF. Now you're going to notice up on top on my toolbar, I have my marquee zoom, which allows me to go down to any part of the page and highlight a specific section of that page and zoom in on it. And this is an unlimited zoom. I can grab any piece I want to do that with. I can then click on 100% and go back to my full screen. Or I can click my side page and make it full, full screen sideways. Um, another tool I have is my snapshot tool. When I click on this, I can go onto the page and highlight a section, pull that down. That then goes right on my clipboard and I can paste that in a PowerPoint, a Word document, or any other piece that I want to do that in. I also have single page, double page, previous view, and that would be wherever I was at before my forward and down buttons. And so some of these are very helpful. And the point of this video is to show you how to get those tools onto your toolbar. Now this is a one-time operation. What you would do in Adobe 9 or 10, you go to View, Show Hide, Toolbar Items. Now the ones you want to set first, you want to go to Page Navigation Tool, and then down at the bottom, click on Show All Page Navigation Tools and that will put all of these here on your clipboard that aren't there at the current time. You want to go back then and click on View, Show Hide, Toolbar Items, and then go to Page Display. Under Page Display, I like to have fit one full page. I like to have two page view because if I have my book open and it's a PDF, it actually shows the full book. And then these others that you can look at and determine which ones that you want to have on there. Another set I like to do under Select and Zoom. I like to make sure I have my Select tool, my Marquee Zoom. The Marquee Zoom is the one where you can highlight and pull a specific one in. I like to have Fit Width in, and so there's a number that you can pick from when you go in. Pan and Zoom is another nice one that you can choose, but the key one here is the Marquee Zoom. And then finally, under Toolbar Items, go down to Edit and take Snapshot. Some really, really nice ones. Also, you're going to notice a couple new ones is Sticky Note and Highlight Text, and that's under the Comment feature. When you click these one time, the, these will then be up on your toolbar from then on, and it really makes these much more usable if you put these tools in. So again, one last time, all of these are under View, Show Hide, toolbar items, and then the ones we looked at were page navigation, page display, select and zoom, edit, and then for comment if you want the sticky notes and the highlight. Some of you might also like to have the rotate ones where you have clockwise and counterclockwise, so if you get one you need to flip, it's built in on your toolbar. Just a few ways to actually make the PDFs and Glencoe programs more usable and functional for you in your classroom.